In this presentation, we will learn the concept of pointer arithmetic, increment and decrement. So let's get started. First, we will try to understand the concept of post increment in case of pointers. Suppose we have an array A, which consists of these many elements, and we have a pointer P, which is assigned with the address of the first element of this array A. That is, pointer P initially points to the first element of this array A. Now, let me assume that the base address of this array A is 1000, or the address of the first element of this array is 1000. Therefore, this will get replaced by 1000. Right? And here is the pictorial representation of a pointer P, which contains the address 1000. Now, with the help of this printf function, I want to print the value of star P++. This is post increment. Right? We know that if we increment the value of P by 1, pointer will simply move one position in forward direction. Now, if we do P++, it has to move one position in forward direction. But post increment means, first the value will be assigned and then it will get incremented. We can see here the pointer P contains 1000 address. Therefore, 1000 will first get assigned to this and then the increment will happen. Let me first dereference this. Star 1000 means we will get this value 5. Therefore, it will get replaced by 5. Right? And then the pointer will get incremented, which means that the pointer will now point to this particular location. That means now it contains the address 1004. I'm also assuming that integer will take 4 bytes of memory location. Therefore, after increment, the address will be 1004. Now, with the help of this printf function, I will simply print the value of star p. p contains the address 1004. Therefore, star 1004 means we will get this value, which is 16. Hence, it will get replaced by 16. So, the final output is 5 and 16. Okay. Now, let's see what happens when we do a pre-increment. Let's say again we have this array A and pointer P is initially pointing to the first location of this array. Therefore, the pointer P initially contains the address 1000. After that, with the help of this printf function, I want to print the value of star plus plus P. Here it is pre-increment. Therefore, the increment will happen first and then the assignment will be done. We know after increment, pointer will point to this location, which contains the address 1004. Hence, it will get replaced by 1004. And with star 1004, we get this value 16 finally. Therefore, it will get replaced by 16. And hence, the output is 16. Okay. Now, let's see what happens when we do a pre and post decrement. Again, we have this array A and a pointer P. But in this case, pointer P initially contains the address of A2, that means this element. So the pointer will simply point to this element. Now, if it points to this element, then the address that it will contain will be 1008, right? With the help of this printf function, I can print the value of star minus minus P. And with the help of this printf function, I can print the value of star P minus minus. We know that in the case of pre-decrement, first the decrement will happen and then the assignment will be done. Therefore, value 16 will get printed in this case. And in this case also, 16 will get printed because first the address will be assigned and then the decrement will happen, right? Therefore, in both these cases, 16 will get printed on the screen. Initially, pointer is pointing to this location. After decrement, it will point to this location. Therefore, 16 will get replaced over here. But as we can see, this is post decrement. Therefore, it will get assigned with the address of this value. And hence, after dereference, we will get this value only. Therefore, the output will be 1616. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.